Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a variable bench power supply. Its output can be set at 0 to 24 volts and it can supply up to 6 amperes of current. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by LCSC which is one of the largest electronic component distributors in China. If you haven't subscribed, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notification whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. Do check it out. Subscribe and support it. As you can see, I am on LCSC website. Here you can find almost every type of good quality component at a low price. You just need to go to category option and select your desired category and search for your required component. To make an order, you need to select your component and click on add to cart. This will send your items into shopping cart where you can place an order by selecting your desired shipping and payment method. The thing needed for this project are LM723IC to 2N3055 transistors 2SD313 transistor for 10A10 diodes for 1N4007 diodes 0.1 microfarad nonpolar capacitor 10 microfarad capacitor 100 microfarad capacitor 1000 microfarad capacitor 1k variable resistor 10k variable resistor 470 ohm resistor 2680 ohm resistors 1k resistor 2.2k resistor 4.7k resistor digital volt ampere meter 2 pin terminal block 12v plus 25v transformer heat sink Vero board Jumper wires Connect 10A10 diodes like this and make a bridge rectifier Now connect the positive pin of a 1000 microfarad capacitor to positive output of rectifier and its negative pin to negative pin of rectifier. After that, make a bridge rectifier with 1 and 4007 diodes. Now connect the positive pin of 100 microfarad capacitor to positive pin of 1 and 4007 bridge rectifier and its negative pin to negative pin of 1 and 4007 bridge rectifier. Now connect the pin number 11 and 12 of LM723IC to positive supply and its pin number 7 to ground.
Now connect 2.2k resistor to pin 4 of IC and ground. Now connect 4.7k resistor to pin 3 and 4 of the IC. Now connect the positive pin of a 10 microfarad capacitor to pin 5 of the IC and its negative pin to ground. Now connect the center pin of a 10k variable resistor to pin 2 of the IC. Now connect a 470 ohm resistor to the remaining pin of 1k variable resistor and pin 3 of the IC. Now connect a 680 ohm resistor to remaining pin of 1k variable resistor. Now connect a 0.1 microfarad capacitor to pin 4 and 13 of the IC. Now connect the center pin of a 10k variable resistor to pin 5 of the IC. Now connect a 680 ohm resistor to remaining pin of 10k variable resistor and ground. Now connect a 1k resistor to remaining pin of 10k variable resistor and pin 6 of the IC. Now connect pin 1 of 2SD313 transistor to remaining pin of first 680 ohm resistor and its pin number 2 to positive supply. Now connect a 2 pin terminal block to input of 10A10 rectifier. Now connect 2 and 3 0 double 5 transistors in parallel and connect their pin number 1 to pin number 3 of 2SD313 transistor. Now connect their bodies to positive supply. Now connect the volt ampere meter as shown in this diagram.
Our project is completed now. Let's test it.